Hello and welcome to another ResPro video tutorial. This video tutorial is going to cover the setting up of the 4X plugin for the first time on your website. And as you can see on our screen, we've already got the plugin installed. Hopefully you already know how to click on Add New, Upload a Plugin. So with, without further ado, let's go ahead and click on the ResPro plugin, make sure everything is here. Looks like it is. So what we're going to do next is go ahead and jump on the settings. That's one of the ver very first things I like to make sure is that your website has all of the proper permalinks set. So our plugin will only work if the plugin is actually set to post name um, or anything other actually than plain or uh, the month and the day and the time. Numeric is fine. Uh, but post name is actually the most SEO friendly, so that's what you're going to want to use and what we recommend everyone to use. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit Save Changes here. Okay, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and get ready for the template settings. We need to make sure that the template uh, is going to be set properly. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log in here. You can either also do this via FTP. I'm going to show you the same thing in FTP real quick, but if you don't want to open up FTP, you can click on Help, click on File Manager, click on Templates, select the default by selecting the ABC editor, which is the name editor, and we're just going to call this, I'm actually going to be using uh, the infold on this particular so I'm going to name my, my custom template folder uh, infold. But the um, if you're going to be using like Avada or Genesis or whatever you're going to use, it's a good idea to go ahead and name your own template folder to match. So that way, whatever the framework is, is going to be matching that framework. And then you can save that as an archive for future reference for other projects related to that same theme. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit name rename and I'm done with that. Next step, I need to go to the site config. Infold is already selected here. I just need to go down and hit save. I'm done with the plugin at that point and the next step is to go to the pages. So we want to go up here to where the pages are and you're going to go ahead and click on all pages. And you'll see that when the plugin was activated, there will be three pages uh, created. If you do not know how to locate those pages, say you have an existing website and you have hundreds of pages, you can always sort by the date. That's the quickest way to actually sort your uh, latest three pages that were just created right to the top. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click right click on each one of these to edit them is the way I do it so that they're all going to be open up in new tabs up above and then go to each one of these tabs okay so this is going to be the search page what you're going to notice is is down below the WYSIWYG editor we have our own custom header footer options so what we're going to do is we're going to select that tag and that's going to be the search page CSS JavaScript everything that's necessary for the search page to function properly. And it's only going to inject our CSS and our JavaScript into this page only. Unlike other plugins that actually install their, uh, plug their CSS and JavaScripts into the header of all pages, ours gives you the option to do it locally per page. And this also gives you the option to, if you have any conflicts with other plugins, and for example, the other plugin is using this jQuery min.js here, and you are duplicate calling it, you can get rid of it by just coming in here and, and getting rid of it. So no file uh, edits required. Uh, that's something that we'll, co we'll talk about the templates and, and where all this information is actually coming from is actually in your custom template folder. But uh, that's what we do is if you have a conflict that allows you to relieve the conflict right there on each page. All right, so we're going to go ahead and update that page. I'm going to jump over to the listing details page and I'm going to select that tag. Now also the listing details page by default, our template in this uh, beta version that we're releasing here has actually got a full width layout. 
if the template that you're working with has a full width layout, that's what you're going to want to select. Unfortunately, the stock WordPress template here does not have one. So we're going to go ahead and hit update on that. We're going to go to do the next one, search results, rinse and repeat here. Select the search results tag to match that. And we're going to click update here. Now we're going to go back to the very first one, to the search page. And we're just going to make sure everything is actually working. So we're going to click on view page. You'll see a sample search. None of this stuff is actually tied into anything because there are no listings in there. But if you want to see the default listing is there, go ahead and just hit the search button. You should see the first default listing in here. And if you want to make sure the listing detail page is working, go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, we have the listing detail page here. And of course, none of the information is within this because we haven't added any listings yet. All right, well, that concludes the initial setup and installation to properly make sure you have your permalink set. Uh, the rest of the video tutorials are going to be jumping into the search form, the RETS builder, um, and how to edit your templates. Thanks so much for watching.